what's going on YouTube back here again with another video sorry about the lack of uploads um, a couple weeks ago I got diagnosed with gout so uh, I've been out of commission for the past couple weeks and uh, feeling better now so I thought I'd bring y'all some more videos but next weekend is Memorial Day weekend and I'm going fishing so <laughs> I'm extremely excited about that. I apologize if the wind is kind of windy. Apologize for the audio, but um, yeah, this is my Bass Raider. It's just sitting here. It's kind of dirty. It's got leaves and stuff all over it. Seats are kind of dirty, but man, these boats are durable. I just leave it outside uncovered. I mean, you rinse it off with a hose and this thing's ready to go. But you know, I, I'm going fishing next weekend. I believe I have everything I need, but I wanted to kind of get all I've got some things here and there from my last video and I want to set it all up and um, see what it looks like you know maybe y'all could leave me some comments down below anything I'm missing anything that would help you know so uh, I'm gonna get it kind of going and uh, we will be right back all right guys we are back got uh most of everything in there you know I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting something you know you never get everything perfectly right but uh yeah where to start oh phone's buzzing off um got your rod holders up front i usually try not to carry too many rods you know it all just depends what you're fishing for you know um but i usually try to not to overcrowd the boat with rods you know just enough to get the job done but i got my hose reel with my anchor like always that seems to be working the best for me got the paddle inside uh got a little bluetooth speaker that way you could be playing some jams while you're out there on the water um for the anchor i bought this at academy it's supposed to be one of those anchor lock deals but I'm kind of deciding where to put it. I didn't know if I could put it, you know, like on the front of the boat, kind of like mounted like that. I don't know how well that would work. Um, if y'all can leave me some uh, comments down below, that, that'd be really great. Appreciate it. I hadn't made up my mind yet on that. But uh, in the middle here, we got my tackle bag. I used to have that crate, but this bag, bought it from Cabela's. It works really good. It holds all my tackle, rattle traps, jerk bait, small lures, you know, everything that you could possibly need is in there uh extra line in the back spools of line your cutters wacky rig tool Whew, you know that wacky rig that's dangerous that's some good stuff um got my one of my favorite rod and reels here this is a shimano sahara um you know i, I love the high vis yellow braid with the fluorocarbon leader uh it's my favorite rod i think that's a five six it's, it's a small rod but it's, i love it for pitching docks you know real close quarters pitching and uh back here we have my collapsible net it works really good folds out it's really easy to get out when you have a fish on that just stays right there rides good never falls off and i got the trusty dusty Minn Kota endurance c2 this is the 40 pound thrust five speed and um the first second third and fourth gear are pretty slow but Man, when you kick that sucker in fifth gear, it <laughs> it really pulls the boat, man. It, it really starts moving. Well, this is the newest addition I have. It's the uh, Minn Kota Trolley Motor Power Center. It's really good. It's got 12-volt uh, cigarette lighters on the side, you know, charge your phone, fish finder, you know, anything you could plug into a 12-volt. I mean, man, that, that comes in really handy. But what I really love about it <laughs> is this battery tester. You shut your trolley motor off. And you hit the test and it shows you how much power you have left on your battery which is really good because you do not want to run out of battery while you're on the water which brings me to my next point this is the oh shit battery <laughs> it's uh it's not big but i mean it holds enough juice to get you back to shore or the dock or somewhere that uh that you that you can get out safely and uh that, that setup seems to be working really really well for me uh, on this side i have another rod of mine this is a big old seven foot um big game power series rod by berkeley um you can tell i'm a big fan of the high vis yellow again with the fluorocarbon leader and uh, that's a loose speed spool reel and uh man i really love that rod there too and um saying um a lot this uh seven inch pedestal there it's working really good um I'm a pretty big guy and I guess it's starting to show right here you can kind of see the sag in the frame um, I guess I guess I'm a little bit too heavy-duty um, it works great for my wife her seats perfectly fine but 
my seat's starting to bow a little bit. So I don't know how I feel on that. I might be trying to make my own seat out of wood. I'm, I'm still kind of thinking of that idea. But yeah, it's got kind of a sag there in the middle. And uh, it's kind of bothering. That would be on the water, you know, and good waves come by and this sucker just folds in the middle. So I, if you have any ideas on that, I'd appreciate that as well. But as far as the seats go and everything, I mean, they're, they're great seats that come with the boat. Really, really great seats. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give like an update on it. Everything I have. I mean, um, it's a great boat so far. I'm just really excited to take it out this next weekend. And uh, if y'all see anything I'm missing or anything I could add, man, be sure to leave it, leave it down below because, you know, the easier the better. You know, whatever makes it easier out there on the water. You don't want to be fighting with stuff the whole time more than you're spending fishing. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, dude, this that's my little update on the Bass Raider. Stay tuned for next weekend. Hopefully, I can get it edited and everything Saturday and Sunday. But if not, Monday for sure when I get back or Tuesday, <laughs> I'll get it edited and everything and I'll be uploading a video of all the fish we catch on this Bass Raider. Hopefully we slam a lot going after bass, crappie, anything that'll bite. <laughs> if lures aren't working, you know, we'll go to soft plastic, soft plastic ain't working, we'll go to live bait, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. But I appreciate y'all tuning in for the video. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Share the channel, always helps me out helps the channel out and um, tell a friend i mean to get anybody into fishing that's that's what it's all about i mean to get people started into fishing to love fishing it's that's what it's all about spending time outdoors with the family so uh thanks thanks again guys and i guess we'll catch y'all in the next one